Welcome back to Run to Light Gaming. Uh, so we are going to be doing another video on Hearthstone. Uh, I did get up to 150 uh, currency on this game again. Uh, so what we're going to do is actually go through and play some arenas again. Uh, so far that seems to be the more enjoyable route than say just buying a pack. Uh, because it seems like the arena also gives you a pack in addition. And then a lot of times it will at least give you the extra 50 back as far as currency goes. So that way you kind of buy your packs a little bit cheaper as long as you do okay at it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and start this up. Alright, so we can either be a hunter, a warrior, or a druid. I think I may go with the hunter this time. I've been playing the hunter a lot the last few days, so I figured maybe I'd, I'd do that. Alright, so this is if you're going to be a really heavy secret deck, which I don't think I'll... Some secrets are pretty good with the hunter, but I don't think that should be my main priority. At the beginning of your turn, give another random for two. Yeah, he's actually pretty good. Uh, a little bit of creature control, a taunter, or that. Yeah, these tend to be a little more versatile. Um, I'll just probably go with him. Two minion and two damage to adjacent ones. So this is a very good one, just to wipe out something big on their side. At the end of your turn, give another friendly. Yeah, let's we'll go with this. Uh, plus one spell damage, plus one spell damage. Yeah, probably just go the stealther. Multi shot's always a really good go to. Leopard Gnome's also really good though. Well, hopefully, we get multi shot back. For each enemy minion, summon a 1 1 hound with charge. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna want that too. So, I do want to get some more of these multi-shots. Unfortunately, we weren't able to grab them on the early ones. Uh, he can't attack. He has stealth. You have all other Murlocs plus two health. I guess... The best out of a bad set of bad choices. Uh, Divine Shield costs one less per attack on your weapon. I don't usually carry weapons with, so I'll probably just go with that. He's nice and sturdy. Let's just go do charge. Uh, actually, let's go for a little more direct damage. And he's usually pretty good because a lot of times those give buffs to like all my other beasts. So if I like release the hounds and then that, it can be pretty strong. When an enemy minion attacks, return to its owner's hand, and it costs two less. Oh, it costs two more. Yeah. Probably more arcane shots. More creature control. Probably a deadly shot. Uh, this will help me push through a little bit faster, and I don't want to get too high mana cost stuff in there. I get more unleashed the hounds. Yeah, I'll take it then. Whenever you summon a B straw card. Yeah. Whenever you cast a summon. Yeah. Stop the attack and health of a minion, which that may not be bad either. Uh, when a character attacks your hero, instead he attacks. Yeah, we'll probably just do this direction. He's a good two drop, I guess. Yeah, we'll grab this guy. Destroy your random uh, minion. Change your minion's health to one. 
Probably Deadly Shot again. Deadly Shot used it, usually is a pretty decent one for just taking out something major. Kill Command, because it's 5 da uh, damage directly. And as long as I have a beast, which... Tracking is also really good, but... I'd rather just go for the more aggressive route. Uh, we'll probably grab another buzzard. Though with... Unleash the Hounds, because I'm guessing the Hounds count as beast. That could be done really quick. I'll grab this guy, just for the card draw. Uh, Death Rattle... Give him a new plus two attack this round. Yeah. Again, uh, trying to play as aggressive as possible, so we'll grab that guy. She is usually pretty good too. And it's a four drop instead of a five. It's a five drop, it's a little bit better, but. Uh, Wind Fury. I don't have many buffs though, so he's basically just a 4 3 for 3. Uh, restores 4th health to your hero. And if I drop this, he has to deal with it. So. I don't know. We're probably better off with a more sturdy one. More creature control. So we got have our deck more or less built, and uh, we will see how it does. I really want to get some of those Unleash the Hounds, because they do look to be pretty powerful. Because if they are starting to control the board and actually do well, then you can Unleash the Hounds and then get a bunch of creatures on the board that buff every one of them. Let's say like uh, some of the wolves or uh, some of the other things that you can summon. So the wait time is 0 to 1 second and it takes 30 seconds. Rexar versus Gul'dan! Your souls shall be mine! Let the hunt begin! Alright, so we get a Leopard Gnome for turn 1, Wind Fury for turn 3, and then him for turn 2. Looks good enough, actually. And then turn four, if, if he starts laying out creatures by that point. Alright, so... Yeah, let's go and charge four. Actually, let's try there. May my ancestors watch over me. Could drop him. It's time for a little blood. May my ancestors watch over me. All right, so. We can finally do a multi shot. Clear both of those. Who you want me big hug! There we go. So we're pretty well set now. I was hoping he would drop something else that we can get rid of. Silver Moon shall not fall. Alright, so he. Who you 
one we kill. <laughs> Though he may wipe the board really shortly, which if that happens, that could be a little bit annoying, but... Oh, yeah, that's from that. Get behind me. All right, so Here we go. So we're getting a little bit more control of the board here. So hopefully this one will buff us. And it does. So, we're not too bad off though. We could always be better of course. Shields up! We're gonna shoot this round. Basically, um, we're gonna let him hit one of our people. Then we're gonna charge through with our charger afterward. The frost wolves stand ready. I guess most likely he's gonna want to buff him, so he's gonna hit. Probably my three one, maybe. I guess I could have released the hounds last round, but we may give him another round just to. I think he's not gonna really want to kill my creatures with the seven-seven. Well, he might. Someone call for the doctor. Hopefully get another buffer. Nope. And there goes our six damage we needed. Oh, uh, we did pretty decently. Pretty close though. Alright, so we got our first win. 
Uh, let's go ahead and push through. I think it's probably somewhat terrible the fact that I ended up getting three of the Unleashed Hounds, which I think are contributing to it quite a bit. I only got one during the round itself. Uh, I could see it being very, very, very powerful very quickly. Like in that case, you let my buffer survive, and then I end up bringing up four of them, and they all had eight. Oh, two attack of me, so it comes out to eight. Rexa versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. Let the hunt begin. Just because I want to see what else I get. Most of my deck's pretty low mana cost, so hopefully I should get something else. No. Maybe a slight ways, but we're gonna go ahead and summon him. Job's done. And then right after that, you like my invention. there we go. Yeah, so it's probably good for him to trade that. Or at least good for him, not quite good for me, but it was kind of to be expected a little bit. Difficult choices. Alright, so probably just drop him and then shoot him with an arrow. We must cleanse the sun well. Um, I guess we can just release the hounds and then shoot him with an arrow. Then, if he gets too crazy, crazy with creatures, we can either blow up his entire side of the board. Like, that guy I can't deal with, so. Be a good time to destroy target random minion. Shoot him with an arrow, then run through. Yep, so that does count as a beast. So that will actually still be able to be fine. That's good because he'll actually clear side of the board again. Alright, so at this point we need a little bit of board presence. Because this will do five, this will do four. Yeah, so I'm one damage short. 
I don't know. I still have my arrow, so. Well played. I'll run through and then shoot him with an arrow. We still had quite a bit of stuff in our hands, so we had a lot of answers to other issues that may have come up. So, thus far we're doing pretty well. Uh, we do need to keep going forward and hopefully take out everything that they keep bringing up. So, we'll see how this next match goes. Do, 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 do. Any moment now. Alright, so we're fighting a paladin, and luckily our hounds should do pretty good here, as well as our explosive shots. Probably get rid of that, probably get rid of that. I probably need another another one drop, hopefully. Eh, still not bad. Mana. So I'll probably burn this to drop a merfolk. In the next turn we can plus two attack it. Reporting for duty. And we'll go and buff this guy. And we'll drop him. Engaging TC-130, mental dislocator! Probably just let him continue trading if he wants to trade. Because my next couple turns are going to be pretty dumb. And if I trade with him now, then I won't be able to get as many tokens, so... Like, next turn, if he lays out two more creatures, I can release the hounds, run through with Not four of them. Alright, so let's see if this triggers, because I, I don't know if it's actually a creature creature, or... Ah, that does actually trigger. That is broken as hell. Because hopefully what he'll do is actually go through and trade whatever's ideal for him. I release the hounds again, and then I put out... Not quite that guy, I thought that was one of us all of them. Reporting for duty. I can still actually release the hounds again. I can drop him. 
Drop him. He's getting a little bit tired of that at this point. The funny part is, we have a third one. Reporting for duty. Silver Moon shall not fall. Yeah, I'll just shoot with an arrow for now. As, as far as damage goes, we have. Not a lot. My eyes are open. My shield for Argon. Like card wise, we're still doing pretty good because we can drop the bird and another hound. And plunder. Reporting for duty. Two, but then we could still spend another two if we chose. Yeah, we'll drop this guy. It's time for a little blood. And then the hounds. Let's go and burn that guy. Get down! Okay, well, that's fine still. Because again, we can let him trade around a little bit. He'll want to take out my bird. And then he may or may not trade afterward. Or he could consecrate and just wipe out everything. Or there's that. Reporting for duty. Drop him. Drop him. And I'll drop a few tokens. So that allows him to trade cards again. All right, and now we get to church through. Well played. Well played. All right, so we are two and zero. Oh. Kind of a janky little build though that I have going on, but basically the entire objective is to just go straight after the other guy. And the fact that I grabbed three then unleashed a hound is kind of in itself pretty weird. <laughs>